What's up, my story beauties? Welcome back to my channel. Hey, this is Gracie. She just woke up, so she's a little cranky. Hi. Say hi, and this is Esther. Hi, I think you might know me on my channel. This is our baby. Her name is Grace Trita. <laughs> and, this is my, and this is my mom's husband. Whoa! Yeah, I'm, I'm daddy, bestial. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's my husband, huh? Grace. Do you know when you're here, huh? You know the family yeah. you're in? You like, like, yeah. Look at her, she's looking. She's posing. Oh, look, look, she's posing. <laughs> Are you posing? How do I look? So Grace is... <laughs> six weeks? She's, she's smiling. Oh my God. Hi. Grace is six weeks today. No, Saturday. Right? <laughs> I look good. Alright, you guys. You can, you can, you can, I'll take over that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at her like she's never been the camera. Bye, guys. Okay, oh my god, this girl is shaking that camera. Oh, wow. Before she cries, yo. <laughs> This is Gracie. She's six weeks old. Last this past Saturday, and oops, she was born. Oh, <laughs> we don't know when she was born. When she was born. When she was born. <laughs> I know she so Gracie was born two weeks early because I had. Uh, pre preeclampsia high blood pressure and so they had to ew, they had to induce me um, so she was born seven pounds and 20 inches long seven point something are you smiling at mommy yeah um, I also had gestational diabetes so it was transferred to her a little bit just for like that day but then as soon as we had um, skin to skin and they were checking on her all day she was fine so she doesn't have anything right now she was born perfect thank God and we came home within two three days I believe but then mommy got really sick yeah I had um, this past Sunday my appendix removed five weeks after I gave birth I was really bad and so I for like three days I had this pain on my right side and I knew I had it a long time ago but it got worse I guess when you when you're delivering um, so I had to go and have surgery five weeks after I gave birth so that is why I have been kind of away from this channel and the other one um, but we're home and I am almost almost recovered so just home enjoying eh, look at her big guys enjoying her and watching her grow you know her name is grace drita grace i actually uh prayed And I had a dream. I had a dream where I saw my family calling her Gracie, and I knew that that was the name because I kept praying. I was like, God, give me and give me the, give me a name. Um, I had three different names, and I was like, just confirm a name for me. And then in a dream, I had a dream where we were all calling her Gracie, and that's what that's how I decided to name her. And Drita, that's my sister's name which means light so we wanted to honor my sister yeah and you just poop you just filled it up yes you did yes you did yes you did hello gray gray <laughs> her eyes are kind of light right now i know they will be like dark soon she is identical to uh esther our first daughter um i mean i have pictures and videos of our daughter when she was Grace's um, age identical the only diff 
<laughs> the, <laughs> the only difference they have is six years apart. Otherwise, they would be twins. <laughs> you, you gotta wait. <laughs> you gotta wait. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Those are bad manners, girl. Babies, all they want is sleep, poop, clean the diaper, clean their butt, and eat. I am breastfeeding and supplementing with and, uh, with formula sometimes. So, it's a lot. It's been a lot on my plate for my health. I have had so many health scares. This entire pregnancy has been very rough on me um but i believe i am mentally stronger stronger healthy um physically not yet but that's just because i've went through so much my my body has gone through so much uh oh i see i see but mentally i believe i am stronger and that's going to help me get my physical in line oh she just you just punched me whoa all right we'll see you guys later hi gorgeous where is gracie hello hello hi hello look at all this hair oh my goodness what's it with all this hair hi gray gray gracie hello Alright, I'm back. I just put my baby to sleep because she was getting cranky and when she's cranky, she cries. My health has been so up and down, so crazy. This pregnancy just took a toll on me, physically, mentally, psychologically, emotionally, everything. That's why I'm so passionate on, passionate on this channel to talk about mental health, emotional health, psychologically, and how important it is to be healthy mentally, emotionally, psychologically, and physically. Okay, because they all we're all connected, you know, one cannot function without the other. The past probably five weeks I've had maybe three hours in a row of sleep and with interruptions of course. Um she still my baby still wakes up. She still wakes up, the baby still wakes up at least three times a night and yeah it's kind of crazy um the i don't mind it the only thing that you know it's annoying sometimes is when they the baby cries and you just like don't know what to do to console them because you barely can keep your eyes open so and the other part is that you have to i have to get up and pump for milk because um, she, I do breastfeed her, but I never knew how to make my baby latch. Okay, I know that's too much TMI. So I have to pump at nighttime, and that's painful and annoying. But I gotta do what I gotta do. So that's it for my. Um, I had, uh, as far as the de delivery, I had an epidural delivery natural. Um, however, I suffered a lot afterwards from back pain. I still do. And like I said, within five weeks delivering, I had to go into emergency to remove my appendix because apparently it was very bad. And I had inflammation in my stomach and I'm still swollen really bad. I still look pregnant at least six months. Um, I am, however, eating healthy, taking my vitamins, and trying to um, walk every day at least 30 minutes, whether it's in the morning or afternoon when I get out. Uh, I'm trying not to lift anything heavy, but as far as house chores, I do everything. Uh, basically, the way I did everything. Um, in the beginning, it was nice. I had help from my uh, husband's family, and it was nice to um, get a little break maybe a day or two or a day 
either way, um, it feels good to be a mother again for the second time. And I'm grateful and thankful. And we are grateful and thankful no matter what. So moving on with this channel updates this on this channel um i will be talking like i said things that i'm passionate about which is you know uh, making sure that we stay healthy and we we know our we we stay healthy you know um we have a healthy soul okay, which is your mind your will and your emotions um and i believe the only way to get to know to be healthy in those areas is to know who we are in christ in jesus and what the word of god says who we are um whether you believe the bible or not um, i know on this channel i have a lot of believers and non-believers and it's okay everyone is welcome i want to bring value to everyone's life and I hope that I do with whatever I bring here. I will certainly be bringing more of my personal experiences. I cannot talk about somebody else's experience uh, unless it's a story that I can share, uh, but not something that I can't take someone else's experience and make it mine, if you know what I mean. So I will be talking about a lot of recent events and recent things and things that are changing in our life and our surroundings in our world because uh, let me tell you something <laughs> there is a lot of events that are happening around us and we are living a whole new normal and I don't know if we can call it normal but um, there's so much change and so much going on I I don't want to, I want to take the opportunity and bring hope, encouragement, and good news to everyone that um, follows me, that subscribed here, to everyone that tunes in, that can um, uh, watch my videos. So, share if you can, um, and I look for uh, my video my upcoming videos in the future and stick around because i will be bringing things very new at the moment i am working part-time from home teaching a class or two a day um considering i used to before i gave birth i used to i was teaching uh at least up to six seven classes a day of uh, seven seven days a week and it has gone down now um when it's summer two is um i am still trying to figure out a time when i can teach without the baby interrupting me so i usually teach early early in the morning and then my other part-time job that i have outside the house i haven't started yet because they need me to have a medical clearance which i can't give them yet until i go and see my surgeon and the doctor who i'm supposed to see to give me a clearance i can't wait to go out work uh, with my first child i stayed home um mentally that was just um very hard on me um i was depressed a lot i mean i went out every day walked but it was just depressing because i was home a lot and it was nice and I'm thankful for the days that I got to see my child grow up and develop for those five years until she started getting hurt. But I'm not doing it again because, like I said, mentally, I don't want to go into depression again. I don't want to see myself that route again. I am stronger and better and I want to help others get there. And I want to go to work even if it's a couple of days a week because... Our job has still, due to COVID, it's still not operating fully, I believe. Um, we're working from home and from the offices. So, But for me, it's very important to be up there and do something other than just my house chores. Which I don't mind, I'm thankful, but at the same time, I like I said, I, I have more to give. To the community and i love my job 
love what I do mentally, physically. It's very good to just try and work outside the home if you can because it will help, okay? I know. It will help. I, I did five years of stay-at-home mom and although that is a job itself which does, no one pays you for, um, but it's not like you have an adult interaction you're just home with your child and that's it you know so you need that that interaction with and 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 uh that time you know with the other with, with your peers with your friends with your co-workers with other people other than just your family i believe that's very important those are the updates um however having i don't know how people do it with more than two kids i have two and i am busy sometimes i don't even have breakfast i might have breakfast at one which is lunch um just because you know maybe it doesn't give you a chance you know but she's starting to get better in the beginning it was hard um my six-year-old helps me a lot and i'm very thankful um but the house itself you know requires a lot you know to maintain to do things um so you don't really have time to yourself but it's important that you take time to yourself even if it's just going out for a walk and breathing in some fresh air and just letting your thoughts out there and uh or spending time in prayer with god um it will help so so that you don't fall into that postpartum depression because it's very very easy i fell into it probably for on and off for five years um, but the first two years of postpartum meaning first two years of my daughter's life i was very very depressed i just hit it very well um so you don't want to you don't want that to happen you have to take care of yourself physically, mentally, psychologically, and spiritually, okay? Because everything is interrelated. Your soul, you have to take care of your soul, uh, which is what I'm passionate about and on this channel. And I hope that you will stick around, subscribe if you haven't, and hit the bell button. This way you're notified every time I upload a new video. I will see you guys on my next video. Be blessed. Bye-bye.